So let's have a quick look at Fall Guys. So Fall Guys is a surprisingly fun party battle royale game that recently popped up on Steam and has pretty quickly managed to gather around a bit over 100,000 concurrent players. I decided to give the game a go, so I bought it for myself and my girlfriend and we've been having such a blast with it. It doesn't cost much and is definitely worth a buy if you feel like getting distracted for a little while. Unfortunately, the game doesn't support 3x9 natively, but there's an easy fix that can be applied to make your 3x9 monitor's resolution available in the options menu. I'll be showing you how to do that later in the video, as well as leave the instructions in the description of this video. After the fix has been applied, the game covers the entire space of your screen, but there are a couple of minor issues that come with the fix. The main menu is definitely zoomed in, so it's a little bit hard to customize your jelly bean in the customization menu, as well as seeing your potential new outfit purchases in the store. UI elements do for the most part stay anchored to the edges of your screen, and there's no way to change that unfortunately, but there's hardly any information you really need to see except what to do in the current level. Now the graphics options menu doesn't really have a lot to offer, but you don't really need an advanced settings menu for this type of game in the first place. You have the typical settings you can find most games nowadays, which are anti-aliasing, ambient inclusion, motion blur, and screen space reflections, as well as change texture and shadow details. Make sure to have V-Sync enabled if you're running a monitor that's higher than 60Hz, even if you have a G-Sync or FreeSync monitor. If you disable it, the game will go back to what seems to be 60 frames per second. Now these are the only minor issues I've picked up and hopefully the developers will implement proper 32x9 support for the game in the near future. So thank you so much to Uncle Jeff for making this guide, it makes things a whole lot easier. So the first thing you need to do is go and download a hex editing program. Now I prefer HXD, which I'm going to give you a link to. And you download that and you open the program. You're going to get something like this. What you need to do now is click on File, Open, and then you're going to have to go to your game's uh, main folder where .exe is. Now I've already, I've already done this modification, but I'm going to do that again on my backup file. So what you do then is you select your Unity player.dll, which I'm going to do here, which is my backup file. I'm going to open. After that, I'm going to go to this guide again. And I'm going to copy these values right here. So you're going to have to copy those and go back to a hex editing program and, and press Control R. Then you're going to get this. So you go to the hex values in the on the tab there and you type that in or the paste it. And then you replace it with your hex values here, which uh, you got to pick it the resolution that you have. So I have 5120 by 1440, which are these ones right here. So I'm going to do that, Control V, and then in search direction, do all, and then replace all. Let's go here and save, or save all, and then that's about it. After that, you just got to launch the game, and your, uh, your resolution should be available in the options menu then. With that, I'm going to leave you with some more gameplay. If you liked the video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.